Hello, welcome back. I am Parker Stanley here to work on, show you some tips to help you out working on bass day music. This is the elementary uh, music and we'll be working on bass blues in honor of Willie Dixon. Uh, this piece, and I'm going to be working on just the top line for right now, it says double bass one. The If you look closely, it's it kind of looks weird. Uh, don't pay too close attention to the fingerings. Some of them are a little bit offset, but the first kind of you know, 12 measures are really good. What we want in those first 12 measures is almost everything's going to be played in third position. As beginning bass players, we should know third position from our D major scale of playing up here, where I have. And you shift to third. Okay, so this is a third position. But we are going to stay in this position for on all of the strings. So I'm going to go over those notes first. On the G string, fourth finger is high D. First finger is C natural. If I cross over to the D string, I have fourth finger is A. First finger is G. Cross over to the A string now, and I have fourth finger E. First finger D. Crossing over to the low string, fourth finger B, first finger A. Okay, we won't use this first finger much for the A, but we'll be using the four for the note B. So I'm going to stay in that position. I'm going to play just the first four measures of bass blues for you. So I'm going to find my third position. How do I know if I'm in tune? I'm going to play open A, play my fourth finger A, and see if I can get them to match in pitch. See, that sound means it's too flat. So I'm going to go up higher. So I, I'm going to stay in there in those for the first four measures, stay in third position. I start with open A. Then it's four, one, cross over four, open A. Same pattern. Notice I don't pick up my first finger to cross over. I don't really need to. Then for two measures, I do the same pattern. I just start an open D. I don't even pick up that first finger. It's going to help you stay in tune. Back to the A. Open E. And we do the same pattern. And that's the same pattern for the first at least 12 measures that we have there. And really the same pattern that goes on. We just change the rhythm a little bit. It does go faster. I went slow so you could follow on. So here's the actual tempo. Okay, and then I have that nice little tempo there. I gotta scroll down here since I'm using my laptop for, to read all the music. Uh, the next little portion, it's the same patterns. Our rhythm just changes. So I'm just gonna do the pattern on the A string, uh, uh, starting on open A and that pattern there. And then you can transfer the rest of the pattern. Uh, be really careful of, is if you look at the end of measure 14, I have what's called a triplet. And it's just one, two, four is all it is. And that happens, when that happens triplet, it happens the same on all of the strings, the same pattern. So slowly, starting in measure 13, here is the pattern that I have. I don't know what the X means. Uh, here's where you can't truly follow the fingerings because it looks like they got offset a little bit when copying it in here. So you can watch my hand as I go along here really slowly. And then I do the same pattern on the D string, and that goes all the way throughout all the other strings there. If you go forward a little bit, um, we're looking at measure 25 now. Now, it's not the same pattern, but we're always in the same position. I'm going to start right here at 25, which we start with a C natural right here. I have one, two, three, four.
Okay, so that's the main part of that melody there. You can follow along there. It does go faster. It's just staying in that third position and getting that rhythm there. Um, follow along. All right, so stay tuned for the next video to come along. Thank you.